getting answers. This is CBS 13 Mornings. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It's January 31st. I'm Dina Kupfer. The Memphis Police Department says more charges are coming in the death of Tyree Nichols. A total of seven officers have been disciplined for the traffic stop and violent beating of the Sacramento native earlier this month. The department there, the fire department, says two paramedics and a lieutenant have been fired after video showed Nichols was not given medical attention for nearly seven minutes. He died in the hospital three days later. That's almost as egregious as what occurred to him to just sit there and watch him die because he could have lived. Well, five other officers have already been fired and face felony murder charges. They will be arraigned next month. In your forecast now, just know today is going to start off on the chilly side, but sunshine will greet you this afternoon. So we do have temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for the Delta, mid 50s in the Valley and the foothills, and then in the Sierra today, very beautiful bluebird conditions, 36, the expected high temperature, though, so still pretty chilly. That seven day forecast shows we'll stay in the mid to upper 50s for the next seven days. Average this time of year, by the way, 59 degrees. Those overnight lows staying in the 30s and 40s, and you will see on the Friday and Sunday, Sunday portion of this, uh, there is some unsettled weather we could be seeing. So the valley could see some rain, about a 40% chance on Friday. Stronger chances, though, for Sunday. So likely some unsettled weather toward the end of our weekend. But as we make our way through Friday, just know it is going to be mostly clear. So take advantage of those skies before the rain comes in. Early next week, it looks like we should start to clear out from the moisture, though. And we do have a clear start to the first few days of February.